Hey guys, Old Guy Gaming here, and with my very first YouTube video, we're going to be going over Rotation Proof Red Black Burn. Uh, of course, we've got the announcement of the uh, the wipe is coming. It is going to be a thing. We're going to be dealing with that one, and along with it is going to be Guilds of Ravnica. So a lot of the cards that were in Kaladesh and Yami Cat blocks are all going to be wiped out, and no one's really going to really be sure what's going on in the meta. So a lot of folks are going to be able to rely on some old steadfast decks, at least for the first couple of weeks of, uh, of Arena, until such time as the meta starts to sift itself out and kind of get an idea what we want to play. Um, I'm trying to go with uh, more common and uncommon cards, mostly for this deck, uh, simply because for the wipe and becoming open beta, it's going to be a relatively easy deck for people to be able to put together. There are a couple of rares, and they're not necessarily needed in the deck, but it's a good straight beat you in the face, punch your opponent in the face, go straight down to taking their 20 down to zero as quickly as possible. So we did lose a lot of those key pieces in the good old-fashioned red burn decks, and Guilds of Ravnica isn't bringing any of those back. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the cards in this one. Uh, Fanatical Firebrand, obviously being in the one-drop slot, a fantastic card. Uh, normally, I consider this basically just two damage. It comes in for haste, hits him for one, and then in the following turn, you can sacrifice him to hit him for another one. Um, it does make an okay blocker after that, but beyond that, really the whole purpose for it to being there is to either take out your opponent or maybe if there's meddling two ones that are kind of floating around out there that are in your way. The Lava Runner is uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this one comes in, and it's you're going to have a ton of instants and sorcerers in your graveyard, so basically you're looking at a 2-2 two, two for, two, for one mana that doesn't tap, doesn't come into play tap, like some of the stuff like Lava Ru or what am I thinking, Dread Wanderers or things like that, or or any of those come into play tap two, uh, two cost creatures that come in at two. It's pretty fantastic, and it's a wizard. There's some synergy coming in later on with Wizard's Lightning as well, and he kind of plays right off of that. Four shocks because, well, you need shocks. Uh, they're just flat out, you absolutely need them. <laughs> Again, direct damage to the face. All of these spells can go to any target, but mo like I, I tried to refrain from using spells that were specifically destroy target destroy a player or hit a, or hit a creature hit a creature we don't want to be doing we want to be able to do as much damage as possible because what will happen to more often than not then you'll have cases where you have a opponent's got a really wide board state and they're down to two life and <laughs> this will do it this will actually win the game for you sovereign bite's a fantastic card uh the only reason we really have black at all in any way shape or form if for all intents and purposes it is a black lightning bolt uh it you do get the benefits of getting the three life so if you have you know up against another um, a red deck that's being, you know, red deck wins. It gives you a little bit of an edge, uh, at least a turn anyway. Double Task is a, a, a fantastic card, uh, especially when you start getting to mid-game mid, mid game and you're, you know, there are some synergies coming up with the uh, the Gutter Snipes coming up. So it's actually kind of fantastic because it counts towards Gutter Snipes. So you get the triggers off of Gutter Snipes for using this card and then whatever you've cast again. So I've done plenty, I've had plenty of occasions where I've done two Sovereign Bites two, and a Double Task and all this Gutter Snipe, uh, uh, Synergy is firing off. It's actually pretty amazing to watch happen. Lightning Mirror, I'm not too certain about in this deck. I was really kind of looking for a spot to kind of fill in for, for Beaumont Courier, and this one doesn't really fit the bill. Uh, what it does do is it gives you some mid to late game range to be able to and pump it up and be able to put some damage through. But it also has that added ability that if you are playing a control deck and not being able to get countered. Um, not so not sure showing this one, so if you've got any ideas to what to replace it with, give me some ideas in the comments below. I'm actually looking to, to kind of fill the spot for like the on-cop crash or stuff like that that we're losing. Uh, lightning Strikes, again, need Lightning Strikes. There's going to be more of them because for all intents and purposes, there are eight in this deck. Uh, Pyromancer, again, fantastic card. Comes in, does two damage directly to the face to your opponent. Can't beat that. And again, uh, being a wizard triggers off of the, uh, the synergies with Wizard's Lightning. Uh, the aforementioned Gutter Snipe, uh, this card's absolutely fantastic, especially in multiples. Uh, <laughs> when the card comes down, you just sit down and watch all the triggers go down and, uh, and watch your opponent's life dwindle as the rounds go by. Wizard's Lightning, of course, uh, for all intents and purposes, you really want to be hitting this one at one mana. It's an old school Lightning Bolt. Some of the old guys like us remember that card. Um, Banefire, uh, I think, is the only rare that we've actually come across. Uh, not necessarily needed. Um, what tends to happen is the reason why there's only two in the deck. Um, what tends to happen in this case is you end up getting to that late mid game and you're just running out of gas. And you end up holding on to this card until you have just enough to be able to kill your opponent right before the end. Uh, again, we're looking at four swamps, 14 mountains, and four dragon skull summits. Now, you don't necessarily need to go with the rare versions. I just happen to have the rares and decided to put them in there. And they are far more efficient. Um, but if you are just starting off uh, in arena after the open beta kicks in, this is a good, you can go with the common version or variety of this card. 
Uh, it does, you know, put you down a pace as far as the speed's concerned, but overall, it's you, you need a little bit of black in there because what you more often than not you'll find you have that sovereign's bite in your hand, the only black card in the deck, and you don't have the black mana to cast it. Um, overall, the deck does really, really well against a lot of things. It's really quick. Goes through. Uh, I've beaten, you know, uh, Turbo Fog, of course, being a huge, huge nemesis on on Arena. You see a ton of it out there, and this gets past all of that. You don't need to do a lot of the creatures going in. Their fogs mean nothing when you can do direct damage to them to the face. This does struggle against some of the more top tier, you know, Grixis decks, things like that. Uh, but the one that struggles against the most are the life gain decks, especially the token generating life gain decks. But we're losing Anointed Procession. And I know there's still a whole bunch of token generation coming out, but I don't know it's going to be nearly as gross as it used to be. So we're going to go ahead and move on to some gameplay, kind of give you an idea of what the uh, what the deck does in the wild. Let's uh, see what we've got for cast white spells. 20 creatures. We might get to that. 20 land cards. These are the dailies. Uh, if you are new to uh, Arena, you're just now getting into the open beta. Uh, this is uh, I'll do a video on this shortly on how to work the economy as far as building up your packs. Packs build up wild cards. Wild cards help you build decks. Uh, we'll, we'll get into a more detailed video on that one later. Uh, we're just going to do some quick play. Uh, no, you know what? I think someone's probably going to call me out on that one. Let's see what we've got. Let's go into... Oh, I don't want to do Loner. No. Quick Constructed. Let's go ahead and go for it. So uh, this is some of the, the gameplay and how, uh, how you get into earning your way back into spending some money. Spend 500 gold with the potential of making a thousand gold and some additional cards. Let's let's just dive right into it. Uh, lose three and you're done. Um, the goal, of course, is to kind of hit infinite, which is the, the five win mark. If you hit the five, well, if you hit the four win mark, you really hit break even. You really want to try to make gold and not lose it and not lose it. So we're going to try for this mythical five win to see if we can go golden on this one. That's right. We're going to go OGG player burn. Let's go. Super excited for the wipe. I mean, it does stink that my entire decks are all going to go because I am trying to basically play for the free for play. Robots from space. It's a great name. <laughs> oh, opponent goes first. That's not cool. We're just going to say hello. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better play. Got our black. We're good. Yep, we're keeping it. Uh, we'll probably, depending on what he's got, well, let's just shock him first. Say hello nicely. Straight up green. Oh, let's do that again, except this time we're going to gain some life from it. See, again, quickly, he's down to a quarter of his life. Uh, drop that. Let's go with shock one more time. And then we're going to drop our free tutu. And it's got haste. Oh, oh, oh. And punch him in the face. And already we've got him down to halfway through his life. Uh, we are starting to run a little bit out of gas. That does concern me. We haven't seen any more. The gutter snipe would be awesome right about now. Steel leaf. Cool. Too bad I just got a lightning strike. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. No. I'm going to punch him in the face. I think I cannot run him. He's going to be down to six. Uh, he's basically down one spell. Yes, I recognize I'm taking five, but I did get that three life back from Sovereign's Bite. It's probably a mono green stompy. This is the second deck. This is one of my other favorite decks. I'm really going to be sorry to see leave whenever the wipe comes. Lanchwood deck. Man, that's awesome. Nice job. Alright, that's a problem. Good. Got a blocker out there. Punch him for one, and we are literally one skull away from the game. No. Oh, he still can hit me. But if he attacks, he's opening himself out. Galta. Very, very nice. Wizard's Lightning. Lightning Bolt. Bane fire. I'm loaded with ideas on how to beat this. Swamp was not it. That was not it. Um, nope. That is gonna do it. Uh, very good game. Uh, unfortunately, he got out a little bit in front. We got a, uh, 
mostly mana. No, I want to say mana flooded, but we definitely got a ton of mana that came in when we needed a spell. One lightning bolt. Oh, that's overkill now. <laughs> I wish they had an LOL on here. I really do, because that is kind of funny. Alrighty, negative 20. Had him down to three. One lightning strike, one wizard's lightning. Uh, that's okay. We'll play on one loss. We're good. I've beaten that deck so many times, too. It would, of course, I, I'd sit down and record, and that would be the, the deck I'd play to beat me. Ooh, I'm a little bit slow. Usually the matchups are much, much faster than this. I don't really recall seeing too many occasions where it takes that long. Diversion Recursion. I go first? I go first? No. If there's a pause, it's not me. I love the mats that you play on on this, but I really wish they'd expand it. Uh, af after playing so many games, you get kind of bored with these. Uh, a whole bunch of direct damage. That's 12, 14, 15, 16 right off the opening hand. And I don't need any more mana than I have right here. So let's start it off. I do need the wizards to be out to get the benefit of this. A gutter snipe now would be tragically funny. Oh, are they playing pirates? Nope, I'm gonna go for this. I, I just literally need one more direct damage spell card and I've got this game. One more, a shock. I said it before in the intro, sometimes a shock will win you the game. That's that's what I need right now. Gutter Snipe would be perfect, though. Too bad you don't get to pick the cards. Sure. I could squeeze in. If he decides to hit me, I could squeeze in and just let it go by. And still squeeze in enough damage to kill him. But here's the cool part. Because I have a wizard in play... Oh. Because I have a wizard in play, watch this. One. Two. And three. Down to seven. That's eight. Nope. I actually want him to attack me. If he attacks me, that's four more. Plus him is five. I have none to two. I'm living with the same situation again where I'm sitting here just waiting for a direct damage spell. Wizard's Lightning would end the game. Shock would potentially do it. It's probably getting ready to play Golgari right after the after rotation. Okay. That does, unfortunately, well, I could probably still kind of pop him. That does, unfortunately. Yeah, he's going to crew it. That's cool. Oh, no, he just put a counter on it. Now he's going to crew it. Uh, come on, bro. Don't rope me. How long does this process take? Sure. Nope. I'm okay with it. <gasps> what did I say? So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. So that's four, five, six. But in order for that six to happen, uh, that thing's got to go away. So he's got to die. And last but not least, down the one. He swings, he's dead. Pretty 
pretty high casting chance on that. Three threes, kind of cool. I mean, I like the recursion. I'm a black player by nature, so things coming out of the graveyard are pretty cool to me. Now this is the point in time where MTG Arena is going to say, you need that. Perfect. And that's game. Perfect call. Couldn't ask for better. And he quits. One and one. We're doing okay. Got some of our rewards. Look at that. That's a pack right there. Move on to game number two. Game number three. At one on one record. When can I get to go first? Just out of curiosity. Three games in a row? Okay. Was there? Oh, yep. We'll keep it. Got our black mana that we need? Nope, we're keeping that. No gutter snipes. Three games, zero gutter snipes. Again, the card's not needed. We've obviously won a game without it, but boy, would that be useful. Oh, it's Red Burn versus Red Burn. This should be fun. All right, I shall do the same. Now your Belmont Courier can't hit me. Yep, good old fashioned That's interesting. All right, so what ends up happening in this scenario normally is I end up in the situation where I'm trading blows with, I'm gonna do red damage to you, you're gonna do damage to me kind of thing, and I'm not sure which one's the best solution on this. Because if I wanted to, I can kill his creatures. You just sit there and let him run out of gas. That might be the solution. Wait till his Beaumont Courier is built up enough. He's not going to swing with it because this thing's already done its job. You're going to prowess this. <laughs> I know this deck well. These two key pieces right here are gone from the deck. That's why I tried to make mine rotation proof. Oh... Uh. I am so going to regret doing this. But I'm going to kill the Soul Scar Mage. I'm going to regret that later. And you want to swing. Nope. Look at that. Shut down the bow map. Yeah, this is an additional card I was thinking about adding into this one. Gonna do two damage to him. And we know he's not going to block with his bow map. So, we'll just go in and punch him in the face. Draw two cards. This is this is the obvious replacement for Bowman Courier. Yeah, I should definitely add that one in. Block is two two. He's getting a little bit ahead of us in the race. Nice. Very nice. This would be interesting. So I can do five and five, huh? I can do four. I'm sorry. <sighs> oh. 
Let's do combat first. Let's see. Let's see if he chances to block it. What is he waiting on? From the last piece of this early unit, like a red source. Yeah, that's a pretty good replacement for Bomat. Let's see if he let's see if he blocks. Oh, interesting. I think I'm just gonna kill this other one. Probably gonna regret that decision as well. That's two if we're keeping track of decisions I'm gonna regret. I really want to build this up. It's one of those things whenever you do get mana flooded. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, that one convinced me on what card I need to replace with Bowman. I'll probably take out Lightning Mirrors for theirs. Or not Lightning Mirror. Yeah, Lightning Mirror. Down to two. One and two. We're not looking so good. Charteer. Look, four games in a row where I don't go first. Scorpions. Nope, like everything about this. Hello, friend. And I believe I mentioned white decks that came life as one of the things that I do not do well against. No, I'm just going to kill it. Take the lifelink away from him. He's going to have a ton more, but that's disappointing. Drop that. Let's not get. And now we're going to go straight to your face. Down to nine. I'm a little ahead of him. that are stones. Oh, I should have dropped that back in here first. What was I thinking? Sometimes the auto tap does not work well in your favor. That was yep. So let's get this out of the way. We're gonna go here, that's fine. Wait, what? Why are you doing that? Shock deals two damage to any target. You, oh, I see. I forgot that did that. Have hexproof. That's fun. Well, that's a problem. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. The entire deck is built around the idea of being able to shoot him in the face. Uh, you gain life for each creature you control. He counts on that guy? Yeah, that is going to be a problem. Where's my pain tower now? <laughs> I shall hold. I wonder if that 
to each opponent. So I don't think that that targets him. I'm probably wrong on that. I think the fact that he's Hexproof still pushes through. Alright, now I need to know. Wizard's Lightning would be helpful. He's just holding off the attack. I wonder why. He probably is afraid of what I had in my hand. He's like, I don't know about that guy. He's holding off. Come on. I'm literally just one damage away on the board from being able to get rid of that thing and being able to get back to what I was doing. Green. We're we doing sprawlings too? As many tokens as you can? Look at that! Yeah, here we go. Uh, no. Oh, he's hexproof. Yeah, that thing's gotta go. And they're all hexproof. There's Jack I can do about them. That's frustrating. Give me any direct damage spell at this point. Any damage spell. Please, please, please. No, I know he's nice to have a blocker though. All the direct damage spells I have in here, not one of them coming up. <laughs> yeah, this game's gone on too long. He should have been dead by now. And since it's gone on this long, he's definitely got the late game on me. One wizard's lightning, one lightning strike, get a a anything. Banefire would be nice too, like a a any of the direct damage spells that I have. Still wondering why he's holding off. He's got, he's got the numbers at this point. He can really start hurting me. That's his target, so I really want to hold on to that. Come on, red deck. Watch, the next thing that's going to come up is Sovereign's Bite, another thing that I can't cast. I'm still curious as to what he's waiting on. Game plus one plus one of vigilance time to turn. That's what he's waiting on. Although if he swings all. Direct damage spell, come on. Scorpion. Yep, at least do that. At minimum, you should have been doing this the whole time. So then the question becomes, is it worth it to me to kill? No, it's not. Nope, I'm going to take it on the chin. It's a good hit. Palatable hit. I'll take it. Yep, pry the covers. That's a shame. Was that two losses for us? Three? I think it's two. I think that ends us. 
Sure did. What do we get? Red. Good card. Dark Capu, one of my favorites. All right, so granted, not the uh, the best of demonstrations. Uh, let's uh, let's just go to open play. I feel like that ended a little quickly. I'll give you like two more games. Kind of really get a feel for it. I'm not even attempting that one. <laughs> I don't know what that game is. I'm not even attempting it. Now I go first. And now I get... <laughs> I love you, NTG Arena. Not one red mana. And that, it, it's going to push me a turn. Uh, it's unfortunate. But it is what it is. He came into play tap too, so I guess we're kind of on the same scale. Maybe. I do get the opportunity for an early gutter snipe though. I think I'm gonna go for this one first. I really should hold on to my direct damage spells. But I really want to build him up to a 2 2. I'm also in a position where I don't have the mana. He'll be next unless I get if I get if I get mana, it's gutter snipe. No, you can have it. Clean sleeve. Love that card. Another one that I'm really sad to see go. Mana? Who needs mana? Why would that be a thing? Nope. I really want to hold on to all these when her gutter snipe comes down. Yeah, of course she does. One of the beautiful things about gutter snipe, he is fatal push proof. I'm gonna miss that card too. I mean, there's a couple of cards that are. There's quite a few that I'm not going to miss. Uh, of course, why wouldn't we pull fatal push back out? <sighs> Little frustrating. Yeah, I need to start getting creatures down. I don't like it at all. I'm literally just one mana away from opening this game wide open. Yeah, at least he's pulling the fatal pushes out. No, you can have it. Opens you up for some damage. I'll take that at least. Oh, that's right. Come on, one more minute. This is really getting dumb. Yay! Finally. Now this gets funny. Because I've got 12 damage here, and you have 14 life. Should have expected it. Alright, now we're in the... Now we're into self-preservation mode. I held on to one of those spells hoping for that. That's my own fault. I have all the spells in the world to have done it, but I was really wanting to get Gutter Snipe online because I really wanted you guys to see it. But unfortunately, the Menace Creature is going to do it enough. 
Uh, I'll be able to block here. Unless he fatal pushes it. It'll get me down to one. Maybe if I could have some mana. Winding Constrictor. Oh yeah, I forgot that card still existed. Yeah, no. I'll go ahead and kill your thing. Take me down to one. We are not doing well tonight. The arena is not treating us well. <laughs> win tonight. It's one win. All right. No matter what, we'll open up five packs just for just for you guys. After this, since it's <laughs> uneventful otherwise. All right. I think we're. I think that's supposed to be cadaver with the X's. I hope. I hope it's not Zadaver. A. I go first. Imagine that. Watch what happens here. Finally, I get to go first. Good mix. Yay, I hit somebody. You're gonna fatal push. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love this deck. This is like my black deck. Um, try to get it in quick. It's mono black aggro. He's going to want to swing all the time, which is fine. No, black white. Black white zombies, maybe? Oh, I hope it is. I love that deck. Again, another deck. I'm sorry to see go. I'm missing the. I'm gonna miss the entire Amon Kep block. The the only thing that I'm not going to miss is. Uh, yeah, it might be black white zombies. The only thing I'm not going to miss is uh, the Scarab Guide. Uh, what a ridiculous creature. Really wish that pumped up the other direction. Ah, uh, we'll go one more turn. We've got enough minute advantage. It's gotta be untouched by players. What is more precious than life? Yeah, this is a black white zombie deck. That is beautiful. I have a deliciously morbid idea. Uh-huh. It doesn't have haste. Okay, yeah, it wor it, that confused me for a second because it was lit up. In, so again, if you're new to MTG Arena, it lights you up with these. The, your cards that you can play or do something with light up in blue. I forgot about his trigger ability, and I was like, I'm confused. Like, I can't attack this turn. Think of all the horses. <sighs> Only Thanks, Lily. I am free of death. Favorite planeswalker, and she's working against me. Good old fashioned. It would seem befitting that on my final, my final game of the night, I would be beaten by one of my favorite decks. In the loss of the Lord, this is the reason why uh, zombies, for the most part, that as I say, I didn't actually get the trigger for that. Weird. Um, yeah, the loss of the lords is really why the zombies, and a lot of the, lot of the good ones, like Dreadwander was going away, uh, a lot of the white ones are going away. He still has enough on board to kill me, so... I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die by zombies. 
Yeah, good game, man. Uh, that I, c I couldn't have lost a better deck. Uh, White Black Zombie is one of my favorites. I really wish you could have seen some of the zombies, but it is what it is. All right, so rather unsuccessful evening. I swear on other occasions when I play this deck, it does really, really well. All right, one more. One more. I can't just go with a one-win night. Cannot. I'm trying to talk this deck up, and I'm getting obliterated. Personal. It's a cool name. And a good football club. They're not Liverpool, but they're a good football club. What is this? Six games. Six games, and I got one first. Just, I'm just saying. MTGA, what up? <laughs> so, bro, I heard you like mana. Sure. Bro, I heard you like mana. Honestly? All right, really, the mana, I, I, I've had enough. Thanks, I do appreciate it. It's fantastic. I have more than enough now. Why do I feel like I'm playing the same deck that we played before? Oh, Radiant Destiny. That's not going anywhere. Did we pick vampires? Sure. Bro, I heard you love mana. Probably should have kept it for his creatures, but now I'm getting a little frustrated. The only way this works in our benefit is if we get a bane card coming out. Hey, look! Vampires! <laughs> Not ones that I can't kill now. They have life link. Of course they do. No, I'll hold for the block. You can't kill him, I will. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Gain that life back. Does he have it yet? Not yet. No, oh, no, he does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Bro, I heard you like mana. MTG, what are you doing to me? Yep. Champion of Dusk. Oh, this was fun night. You guys get to see me embarrass myself in a deck that normally does quite well. Like, I've literally cranked off like 8, 10 wins in a row with this deck. Not tonight. No, come at me, honey. I'm going to make you do it. Oh, I heard you like mana. It's the game. It's the game of magic that we love. Every once in a while, the magic gods are not so kind. No direct damage spells. I know, because I only have spent one. Yep. And now he's going to be back to where he was. That would be good. This game was over four turns ago. I'm still going to make you attack me. Come on. Nope. Take it to the face. I'm going to lose. I'm going to make him hit me. I can't go out on a losing note. I can't go out on a losing note. Slowly my tear dwindles away. I'm going to have to play the green deck just to be able to have one win. <laughs> yeah, so put in the comments below on how much I suck at playing Magic. That'd be awesome. Ijuk. Ijuk? It's a cool name. 
seven games, MTG. Seven games. I went first once. And one mana. Okay, so just so you're all aware, there is an algorithm comes up. They basically draw two hands and say, we're going to give you the best one of two. Theoretically, I could get this on board. Sure, why not? This is going to be the hand. This is going to be the game I win on one mana because of Wizard Lightnings. This is how it's going to work. But anyway, so there's an algorithm that comes up. They basically take two hands and say, this one's the best hand for you. <laughs> and a... And apparently, a one mana hand was the best of two that I was given. Bloody. Oh, please don't let this be that infinite deck. There is an infinite deck that... Um, Bad Boy MTG put out that was fantastic, hysterically fa fantastic, but it uh, revolved around a combo that basically allowed you to do damage, gain life, untap a creature, do that because he's the the artifact that allows you to tap to do one damage, and it's absolutely hysterical. I mean, it takes forever to get all the triggers off to do it. You literally have to tap damage, tap damage, tap damage, but it's hysterical. I did crack that joke multiple times about, bro, you like mana. Hey, look at that. That's just my own fault. I didn't mean to eat you. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I... With life de gain decks, I think I need to kill their creature base. So that they don't get the life link, they don't gain the life. It's a little bit slower. It's the only it's the only chance we really have, to be perfectly honest with you. Wasn't that my second spell? Why is he not? Oh, that's right. In my head, I've played more red spells. That Ripjaw Raptor, that's hot. That's also a really big problem. Because in order to get rid of him, I've got to give him card draw. Sure, why not? He's got another one in his hand, right? Now, now lightning mirror would be nice. Got some mana to pump it up with. Land of War. There's no way I'm gonna. Well, he doesn't need the ramp now. He's got plenty of it. He's probably building toward the Golfa or something. It'll pause him for a turn and make me laugh. Both of which are amusing. I'm slowly whittling them down. Little by little. Seal away. Really? Really? And then he picked nothing. Oh, that's a misclick on his part. That stinks for him. He should have clicked one of my creatures, but he didn't. That's funny. I'm uh, gonna wait for a shot. Cool. It's not gonna live long enough to take it, homie. What was I just saying? Lightning Man. Only at the end do you realize, Lightning Man, that you've come out. He's done. And just because this is... And he quits! I can leave in winning record. No, on a winning note, anyway. I can leave on a winning note. So that's how the deck's supposed to work. Um, <laughs> just got some, some really bad luck on this one.
But I will post, of course, the uh, the deck list down below. I, I did promise some packs. So let's go ahead and get some packs. <sighs> we So basically, the course is for completing missions. So I've been doing Dominaria. Let's do one, two, three of those. And let's do... Let's just do five. And go from there. So there are five packs for my first YouTube video. And the fact that reset's coming and I don't really care. <laughs> um, so again, if this is your first time ever seeing this game, how this works, these are the wild cards. Um, they can be traded in for any uh, card of that value. This is, of course comes in the common slot. Uncommons uh, actually are those right there. Your rares are gold and then your uh, mythics are the orange. Ooh, very nice. Too bad I'm going to lose it. Let's go on to the next one. This is super cool. I like this one. <laughs> Dies to lightning strikes. It's still so cool. Eh. I'm not much of a blue player. I don't like blue. <laughs> Makes me feel icky inside. Now that's not bad. And very nice. <laughs> very nice. Come on, Dominaria, be good to me. Ooh, silver. Unlocked our rare. Still waiting for this dusting system. I We had the vault for a while. Ooh, now that's that's very nice. That is definitely going into a mono black aggro deck at some point in time. Very nice. They, um, they had this uh, vault system for a while. Uh, oh, now see, all right, this card here. I call myself Old Guy Gaming because I'm old and I've been playing this game forever. So the very first thing that I ever opened uh, in Magic was an Unlimited Starter Set. That's how I started playing Magic. In that deck consisted of a Lord of the Pit was one of the rares, uh, the Dredge Skeleton was uh, one of the commons, which gave me my affinity for black, and the artifact that was in it was Icy Manipulator. Um, it's interesting to me to see this kind of brought back so many years later to see the Icy Manipulator. It's not the Unlimited Art, it's cool art. But it is kind of cool to see this card here. Very nice. We'll have to find a use for that. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, so guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please, again, let me know how bad the deck sucked uh, or what I could do to improve it. So clearly the deck needs some improvement. Maybe you're watching this and saying, he should have put this and this in there. That would make that deck so much better. Um, Drop those down in the comments below. Uh, if you liked the video and enjoyed the content that you're seeing, uh, I'm going to continue to record videos probably about twice a week and try to do some live drafting, uh, hopefully on the weekends when I can. Uh, thanks again, guys, and we'll see you in the arena next.